this intersection in the heart of Brooklyn, New York, a little piece of Taiwan can be found. On one side of the road, a Taiwanese general store selling things like chili sauce and dried fruit ships directly from Taiwan. And across the street, a Taiwanese American cafe serves fresh rice balls and hot soybean milk. The owners of these shops say their goods are a way to promote Taiwan's campaign for international recognition. We noticed that like there, there wasn't a lot of a ton of options for contemporary Taiwanese American food, so you know we wanted to uh, really humbly bring it to our neighborhood. This is bacon pancake. Yeah, yeah. These are like our pork bonton. This kind of exposure is crucial for Taiwan, which has seen its international space become increasingly smaller over the years. It's also one of the reasons why Taiwan's president decided to visit the two shops during a March transit stop in the U.S. Back in March, when Taiwan's president Tsai Ing-wen came to New York, she met with several overseas Taiwanese owners, when she expressed the significance of these overseas Taiwanese and Taiwanese Americans trying to spread the Taiwanese culture around the world. And while this eatery's Taiwanese cuisine is served with an American twist, the store next door offers visitors a chance to experience the real deal. Its design is modeled after a traditional gamadiam, which means general store in Taiwanese Hokkien. <laughs> the owners say that while Taiwan is known internationally for its semiconductor and high-tech industries, items like these noodles, dried fruits, and the iconic Datong brand rice cooker are just as important. You know, we make semiconductor, we make chips, we make great bicycles that are everywhere, but no one has really tried to market Taiwan explicitly for these items. And I think food also hasn't really been a focal area yet either. And so now, you know, there's kind of a wave of Taiwanese food and Asian American food. And so we can really kind of uh, ride that wave and share more Taiwanese food with people. Just use it to make sure that the bottles don't break. This food wave is just one of the ways that Taiwan is looking to spread its reputation. Often, the international media focus on the threat from China or on Taiwan's cutting-edge semiconductor industry, and other stories get pushed to the side. And that's why government officials say that Taiwan should show that it's not just the world's next flashpoint, and that it has more to offer than just computer chips. Taiwan used to be uh, more active engaging with the uh, uh, local American community, the uh, global semiconductor supply chains issue, and with the regional uh, security issues. Taiwan is now more and more uh, recognizable by Americans. While many people might already know about Taiwan through cultural exports like bubble tea, the two shops in Brooklyn are hoping to expand the world's palate for Taiwan, one sauce or dish at a time. Taiwan Plus, reporting from New York.